Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We will now begin with our program, the simultaneous symbolic vaccination with the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliazar, here at Cam Brigadier General Rafael Crani, Quezon City. Please all rise for the invocation to be led by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortiz, Director of the PNP Chaplain Service. With all humility in our hearts, let us bow our heads and be aware of God's loving presence. Let us pray. Almighty God, we exalt and proclaim your glory as we thank you for bringing us together this day for the symbolic COVID-19 vaccination for the A4 priority group. We believe that you are in control of everything for you are all knowing and eternal, and you have faith that your divine grace would overshadow all of life's trials and tests. With confidence in your sacred salvation, we now implore the abundance of your blessings for Secretary Herminio Lopez Roque Jr., along with all our special guests and our beloved Chief PNP and the People's Chief, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino Ilyasar. We beg you, dear Lord, to deliver them from all forms of dangers and harms as we pray for your saving grace for the personnel to be vaccinated. Let this vaccination be accompanied with your mantle of divine providence and grant that this would inspire the entire PNP organization to endure, be resilient, and build confidence in your sacred deliverance. May your perpetual blessings empower us to unite ourselves with internal discipline, integrity, and faith in the mystery of your salvation. For the betterment of our service, in the greater glory of your heavenly kingdom, grant all that we ask and pray to you who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to call the Director of the Health Service, Police Brigadier General, Luisito Magnaye, to give his welcome remark. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So, Secretary Harry Roque Jr., sir, the Presidential Spokesperson, the Assistant Secretary of the DOH, Marcelo uh, Asek Maria Plancia Laksamalamam. To Assistant uh, Secretary for International Relations and Under Interior Sector Concerns of the ILG. Assistant Secretary Marcelo Morales. To our uh, Chief PND, Police uh, Brigadier General. Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino Eliasar, sir. Our Deputy Chief PNP for Operation, Police Lieutenant General Israel Efraim Dixon, sir. To our uh, TCDS, Police Lieutenant General Leonardo Carlos, sir. Members of the director of staff, directors of the different diapers, personal staff, directors of the uh, nurses and nurses, uniform and non-uniform personnel, friends from the media, and to all those virtually present today. Good morning. It has already been more than a year since the world was plagued 
with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our country too has suffered much from the impact brought about by the health crisis. For such time, our frontliners have been on the ground endlessly, tirelessly, risking their own lives to protect other people's lives. We have already lost brothers and sisters in the service to COVID-19. We cannot afford to lose anymore, especially as they continue to wage this battle on the ground head on. Our men on the ground, the frontliners who have been on the front front in this health crisis from the start are now given priority for the administration of these vaccines as we acknowledge the utmost need to protect them so they can continue to serve and protect others. Vaccination plays a key role in ending the COVID-19 pandemic. It prepares a person's immune system to fight the virus. Should one be exposed to it, this potentially can help to reduce the spread of the virus within the entire community. It is an important as wearing masks, social distancing, and proper hygiene. At present, some of our Kababayans are still unwilling to receive the vaccine due to concerns over the safety which poses a great challenge to the implementation plans of our government. Nevertheless, the Philippine National Police, headed by our own Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino Eliasor, recognizes that these vaccines are essential for our organization, especially for our frontliners who are rendering their duties to have herd immunity. As the indirect protection from an infectious disease that happens when the population is immune, either through vaccination or immunity developed through previous infection. Safety is our top priority, and we want all PNP personnel to be protected. That is why we are thankful for the vaccination allocation given by the government for the Philippine National Police. This ceremonial vaccination will be administered to our April cluster here in Kamukrame and within the NCR area. Led, of course, by our chief PNP and the command group, which will also be simultaneously conducted in vaccination sites in NCR field. And it's five districts, the QCPD, the MPD, the SPD, APD, and NPD. And in the PNP Special Action Force, and in the Aviation Security Group. And so, ladies and gentlemen, without so much ado, I would like to welcome you all to witness and be part of this symbolic COVID-19 vaccination. Let us all stay safe and may the force be with us always. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Police Brigade General Luisito Magnay, the Director of the PMP Health Service. And now, ladies and gentlemen, today's message is Secretary Herminio Lopez Roque Jr., Presidential Spokesperson. To the Chief of the People, Siyempre po, ang aking paboritong PNP Chief, Eliazar, 
sa lahat po ng mga opisyalis na nanaririto, sa lahat po ng ating kapulisan, sa ating mga miyembro ng media, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Today po, we witness a promise fulfilled. The President, when he announced that we will pursue a relentless vaccination drive to put an end to this pandemic, promised that his men in uniform, both the military and the police, will have priority in receiving the vaccine. Ito po ang katuparan ng ating presidente sa kanyang pangako sa ating mga kasandaluhan at ating kapulisan, bibigyan po kayo ng prioridad pagdating sa bakuna dahil ito naman po at pagkilala sa inyong kabayanihan. Today, of course, is a milestone as well. The Armed Forces and the PNP form part of A4 priority, which includes everyone who has to leave their residence to work. But from the very beginning, the President has said that the soldiers and the police must be given priority because you are also frontliners. While we recognize the heroism of our medical frontliners as being our soldiers in the war against COVID-19, without the security and the stability provided by the armed forces and the Philippine National Police, they will not be able to discharge their function. Nagbabakuna po tayo ngayon dahil kayo po ay mga bagong bayani. Kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, hindi makakarating ang mga bakuna sa mga malalayong lugar ng Pilipinas. Hindi po makakarating ang ating mga nurses at mga doktor na magtuturok. At hindi po magkakaroon ng pagkakataon ng magbabakuna kung nagkakagulo po sa sambayan ng Pilipino. On behalf of the President, thank you very much to our heroes in the armed forces and the Philippine National Police. Hindi na po ako magpagagal dahil yan lang po ang mensahe ng ating presidente. Nung una, kinakailangan siguraduhin ang mga pisikal na pangangailangan ng mga kapulisan at kasundaluhan ay maibigay. Kaya naman po, umiikot ang ulo ni Secretary Dominguez para punduhan ang pagtataas ng sahod ng PNP at ng AFP. Ngayon naman po, A4 priority dahil kung wala kayo, walang peace and order, walang mababakunahan. Maraming salamat po on behalf of a grateful nation. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much, sir. Secretary Marmino Lovers Rocky Jr., Presidential Spokesperson. Please be seated. As we continue, ladies and gentlemen, let us hear the message of Dr. Maria Francia Laxamana, Assistant Secretary of Health. All of us, ladies and gentlemen. Nakikita po ba ako? <laughs> anyway, uh, isang maganda, malusog at ligtas na araw po sa ating lahat. Uh, to our Secretary, Secretary Harry Roque, yung pong lagi nating kasama sa everyday press briefing. To our uh, General, Police General, uh, Hermi, uh, Guillermo Eliasar, our PNP Chief. To my colleagues, si Asek Morales po and the rest of the PNP family who are all here. Ako po ay naatasan na magrepresent sa aming Secretary of Health, si Secretary Francisco T. Duque III. Kasi, kasi po, kasalukuyan po sa araw na ito po, mayroon po tayong ginaganap na Senate hearing on the National Vaccination Deployment Program. So, ito po si Secretary Duque at saka yung ibang exekom po namin ay nakikipagtalakayan po ngayon dito sa ating uh, Senate hearing. 
ibabahagi ko po sa inyo ang isang ang mga mensahe na gusto pong itarating ng aming Secretary of Health sa inyo. I'm the one representing him right now, but of course, maybe he is also hearing you eh, in this uh, session. Ang gusto pong mensahe ni Secretary Duque ay isang pinararating po niya sa inyo na para malaman po ninyo na mahigit na nga isang taon ang nakalipas Mula noong una, idineklara ang lockdown. Dito sa ating bansa na nagdulot ng pandemya ng COVID-19, sa ating pakikipaglaban sa pandemyang ito, nakita natin ang dagok sa ating lahat sa aspeto, sa iba't ibang aspeto dito sa ating bansa. Mula sa kalusugan hanggang sa mismong siguridad ng ating mga mamamayan. Tama po si Secretary Harry Roque, kayo po ay napaka-importante po sa amin dito sa ating mamayanan as law enforcers at hanggang sa mismong siguridad ng lahat ng nasa paligid natin. Nakita natin kung paano halos naparalisa ang mga, mga mamamayan dahil sa takot at pangamba. Salamat po sa inyo at kayo po ay laging nandyan para gabayan kami sa aming pangamba. Bilang tugon sa piligro ng pandemya, magkasabay natin isinulong ang mga pulisiya at mga intervensyon na nakatuon sa kalusugan lalong-lalo na po sa siguridad ng ating bayan. Bukod po rito, ipinatupad natin ang, pag, ang ating prevent, detect, isolate, treat, and reintegrate. Natatandaan ko po, nung ako po ay na, naka-assign pa sa Campaginaldo, meron po kaming everyday meeting. Uh, sana po, siguro nandito rin si Lieutenant Colonel Lorenzo, kasama po namin siya sa mga meetings. Nagtipresent po ang TNP, ang different agencies, kung paano na po tayo tumutugon sa siguridad ng ating mga pamay pamamayan. Sa aspeto pong ito, nagpapasalamat po kami sa buong pwersa ng Philippine National Police para sa inyong sikat, tapang, husay at malasakit sa pagpapatupad ng ating PDITR strategy. Sa kabila po nito, tiniyak niyo pa rin ang inyong pagtutupad sa mandato ng PNP para sa katakanan at siguridad ng mga mamamayan. Saludo po kami sa inyo para sa, ipin, para sa mga pinapamalas po ninyong dedikasyon sa tungkulin at pagmamalasakit sa katakanan ng bayan. In this uh, opportunity, I will really mention, nakita ko po yung isang polis na nasa expressway Sinundan ko po yon sa Facebook. Binigay niya ang kanyang inipon na dollar para lang makatulong sa isang tao. And it went along the way, minakilala ako na yung taong napagbigyan niya ay kilala rin ng isang kaibigan ko. So pinagmamalaki po namin kayo sa inyong mga gawain. Hindi po nasa dyaryo, hindi nakikita ng lahat. Pero po, little things like that are really very, very memorable to people that you help. Sabi ko nga, ay hindi lang pala sila nagpapara ng mga motorsiklo. Para hulihin, nagpara sila ng motorsiklo para mamigay ng ayuda, hindi lang po mga pagkain, kundi pati pera nilang naipon. So, saludo po kami sa inyo sa mga maliliit na pinamamalas niyo po sa amin. So sa labang ito, mahalagang masiguro natin na ang ating yamang tao ay may sapat na proteksyon upang maagap at sa mga delikadong serbisyo na binibigay ninyo at sa solusyon ng, sa malawakang solusyon ng ating seguridad sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino. Sa araw na po ito, kami po ay nagagalap na gaganapin po natin ang ating uh, vaccination for the priority A4 sa atin. At ito po ay inyong masasaksihan ngayong araw. Hindi po natin din matatawaran ang inyong serbisyo bilang frontliners. Parang katuwang po talaga kayo ng mga health frontliners. Kayo po ay frontliners on the road. Kami naman po ay frontliners in the hospitals and in the health facilities. Sa pag ng proteksyon at magandang balitang dala ng bakuna, kritikal at mahalaga ang ating pagkakaisa. Isulong natin ang kahalagahan ng mga bakuna 
sa pamamagitan ng mga testimonyo, tama at matotohanan informasyon. At ang mga buhay na patunay na, nag, na ang bakuna ay ligtas at mabisa laban sa COVID-19. For the additional information, uh, General Eliasar, for the information of everyone, ang Camp General na Carpo, ako rin po ang nag-ceremonial vaccination. Kaya po, tuwan-tuwa po ako, napakadami po, General, ng nabakunahan doon. I think that was last March. And uh, I'm really very glad na sila po ay matutulungan ng kagawaran ng kalusugan kahit po doon sa hospital. Nagkaroon po kami ng discussion. So, pag-iikot ko po, hindi lang po kami nagtutulungan sa pagbabakuna. Nagtutulungan po kami na ma-improve po ang ating mga health facilities even in the uh, camp, in the uh, mga kampo natin, kahit yung sa na nasa Neve Ecija, yung pong sa Fort Magsaysay. So, AFP naman po yon. So, natutuwa po ako na ang lahat ng mga uniform persons natin na talagang malaking tulong po sa atin as frontliners Ay, ito na po, nasa A4 na po kayo. So, bigyan po natin ng magandang oportunidad na lahat tayo ay magpabakuna po dito sa ating uh, PNP. So, sa pagpatuloy po ng pagkakaisa, isang susi na tayo ay maging ligtas at tayo po ay maging malusog, ang napaka-importante po sa atin, sabi po nga na natin sa araw-araw na pagsilbi natin, kailangan pong malusog tayo. At ang aki pong take home message also na kahit na po tayo ay nabakunahan na, huwag tayong maging very confident and kampante. Kasi po, pwede pa rin po tayong ma-infect, pwede po pa rin tayong mag magka-COVID, kaya lang po dahil sa bakuna, iniiwasan po na tayo ay mamatay, iniiwasan po ng bakuna na tayo ay magkaroon ng severe and critical. Ilang porsyento na lang po ang magkakasakit ng severe and critical kung tayo ay nabakunahan. So with this, kayong umaga po, tayo po ay sama-sama na mabakunahan po lahat ang ating mga uh, nandito po sa loob ng ballroom na ito, ang ating mga PNP colleagues. Sana po ipalaganap niyo po ang informasyon, matamang informasyon na yung laging sinasabi ng mga vaccine experts natin na the benefits always outweigh the risk. So, ito lang po ang mensahe na dinagdag ko sa mga mensahe na binigay sa akin ng aking Secretary of Health. At magandang umaga po, mag magandang umaga, Sir Kari, magandang umaga po, uh, General Eliasar. And to all of you, may we all have a very, very healthy and productive day today para matapos po ang ating bakunahan. I heard you have 500 doses. Ubusin po natin ang 500 doses para po makapag-request na po tayo ng tuloy-tuloy para po maging 100%. Yung sabi nga, 70%. But at least sana ang lahat ng PNP po dapat 100% general. Kasi kayo ang talagang frontliners. So maraming maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po ulit sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, ma'am. Assistant Secretary for Dr. Maria Francia Laksama. Please be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us hear the message of the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliazar. Thank you. Marami salamat. Uh, please be seated. Thank you, sir. Gusto mong muna magbigay po, guys, sa aking kasamahan na nandito ngayon, ang ating pong minamahal na presidential spokesperson, Secretary Harry Roque. Palapakan po natin. Kasama rin po natin dito ang Assistant Secretary of Health, Dr. Maria Francia Laksamana. At binisita rin tayo ng ating isang assistant secretary ng DLG, ang classmate po namin sa PMA Hinirang 1987. Ang kasama natin, let's welcome General Marcelo Loy Morales. Thank you, Bok. Kasama natin dito ang members of the Guan Group, ang ating pong Deputy Chief PNP for Operations, my classmate also, Police Fellow Lieutenant General Bong Dixon. Ang Chief Directorate Staff, 
Police Lieutenant General John Carlos. Atom Director of Health Service, Police Builder General, Dr. Chito Magdaya. Hindi, hindi po doktor yan. Kaya lang eh, Director of Health Service. Alam niyo po, nung March 1, yan ang kauna-unahan na polis na naturukan dahil polis na kay healthcare worker pa at nakasama siya doon. Pagparating, gusto ko rin patiin ang mga uh, commanders ng Arab Police Command or Directorate for Police uh, Integrated Police Operations na nandito ngayon. Andito rin po yung ating mga Directorate staff. Ayan pong mga Arab Police Command, mga 3-star general. Ang ating mga Directorate staff, 2-star general. Andiyan din po yung ating mga Directors ng iba't ibang National Support Unit na nandito in our presence and other senior officers online joining us also are the senior commanders of NCRPO as well as the five districts. Ito po nga, Northern, Eastern, Manila, Southern, and Quezon City Police District. At nandun din po ang Special Action uh, Force at ang uh, Arsig Group Group. Sa inyo pong lahat na nandito ngayon, including the members of the media and all who are joining us online, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. As of the latest survey, kami po kasi meron kami PNP Coda, itong online monitoring system natin, na kaninang umaga, ito po ating ongoing online survey, 92.76% of our personnel, the total of almost 219,000 or 203,000, gustong magpapakuna. At, pero meron pa rin tayong 7.24 or around may 15,000 na nag-aalinlangan pa. Tumalit gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na mag-start kami nitong online survey na ito, 51% ang, ang gusto ng gabahuna, hindi to say halos kalate is ayaw. But because of the effort of the uh, direct of, of the health service and concern na uh, units natin, unti-unti na paliwanagan sila, Kumukuha po kami ng mga video at uh, mga information clips galing sa DO8. Pinopost namin sa aming koda at eto na ngayon, marami na ang kumpiyansa. At sa araw na ito, dahil nga ito ngayon is authorized ng A4, pati kami mga police, sigurado kami na pag ako nagkabakuna, lahat ng mga senior officers, mas marami po. At yung iniisip natin na 7% na yun, ina-expect namin na niliit pa at maaaring gusto na lahat ay magpabakuna. Wala pa kaming pinipilit, pero ipinaliliwanag natin. Kaya kami lubos na nagpapasalamat salamat sa ating Pangulong uh, Duterte. Dahil sa Among the A4, kami po ay nangunguna at uh, nandito na. Uh, gusto ko pong baglitin na sa, uh, sa kami po ay talaga nag-intay ang ating mga A4. Kaya kung tutuusin natin, out of the uh, out of the 219,000, Ang ating pong mga kapulisan na nabakunahan na is around 18,320 as of this morning. That is 8% of our uh, uh, strength. But out of that 18,320, 63% dyan po is a first and second dose na. They were vaccinated primarily not because they are policemen, but because they belong to A1, A2, and A3. A1, dahil alam natin, marami tayong mga healthcare workers na nagbabantay na iba't mga quarantine facilities natin. Doon naman sa A2, meron tayong mga 60 plus na mga senior citizen. Ito yung mga non-uniform personnel. Kasi ang uniform personnel, hanggang 56 lang tayo. Pero yung mga civilian employees natin, hanggang 65 yan eh. So, meron doon na senior citizen na uh, 60 pataas. But most of this 18,000, ito yung may mga comorbidity na mga police na dahil sa offer, generous offer, ng mga LGUs natin, nabakunahan sila doon sa lugar. Pero iniintay natin nga itong pagkakataon ito na tayo naman ay mabakunahan na. Gusto ko pong iulat sa inyo na as of uh, today, uh, meron po kaming around 71 na mga police personnel na nagbuwis na ng buhay. At kami ay nagpupugay, sumasaludo sa mga kasama namin na namaya pa nasa paglilingkod sa ating bayan. And we have some 26,059 who have been infected. That is actually uh, uh, 10% or 11.9% of our uh, strength. At meron doon na 760 na reinfected uh, pa or 3% of those 
who have been uh, infected of this uh, uh, vaccine. At kami po ay malugod na tinatanggap namin itong 500 vaccines na binigay sa atin initially out of the 28,000 vaccines para sa buong Metro Manila. At ito nga po sa ngayon, 200 of these will be administered dito sa camp kami ng mga senior officers. And then another 200 will be for the whole of uh, NCRPO and uh, uh, 50 for Special Action Force and another 50 for the group for a total of 500. At kami naniniwala na sa mga susunod na araw, pagdating na mas marami mabakuna pa, lahat na ng ating mga pulisan ay mababa uh, punahan na. At kami din po ay nagpapasalamat na sa ating sa mga LGU. Dahil nga po uh, sa markaraang linggo, dahil nga inopen na sa A4, binigyan namin ng advice sa ating mga, mga units in the ground with the great clearance and guidance of our SILG Secretary Anyo na pwede na tayo magpapakuna as A4 if it will be offered to us by LGU. At sa napakarami nga, dito sa 18,000 ito, ito ay dahil sa mga bakuna na pinagkaloob ng ating mga LGU sa ating mga, uh, sa ating mga kapulisan. Lahat po tayo ay nangangarap na dumating na sa ganitong sitwasyon na magdonormalize na. Unti-unti nagpumunta na doon. At talagang uh, minsan nakakalungkot na mapanggan natin ang kwento ng ating mga pulisan dahil sa kanilang mga anak na kinukulit na sila na gusto nga masyal pero hindi pa rin tayo makalabas because of this pandemic. Alam natin, ang bakuna ang susi ng ating normalisasyon. Tayo ay nagpapasalamat sa ating pamalaan, sa lahat ng bumubuo ng ITF, sa guidance sa ating Pangulong Duterte, sa kanilang effort para po itong milyon-milyon bakuna ay makarating na sa atin. Ang ating pumabakuna ay hindi lang namin ito, hindi lang natin ito obligasyon sa ating bayan, kung ito ay ating obligasyon din sa ating mga sarili at sa ating mga pamilya. Sa panahon ng pandemya na kung saan libre ang bakuna, huwag na tayong maging tsusi pa. Dahil nakasalalay dito ang kaligtasan mo at ng ating pamilya. With that, maraming salamat sa ating Pangulong Duterte, sa ITF, at eto na ang ating mga pulisan. Tayo ngayon ay makipagtulungan para sa bakunahan ng buong bansa. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, sir. Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Lazar, Chief Philippine National Police. Please be seated. And we will now proceed to the presentation of Memento. The Philippine National Police highly appreciates the presence of our distinguished guests, and at this time, we'd like to present a memento to each one of them. To present the memento is the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Elizar, and he will be assisted by the PNP Command Group. May we request? May we also request Director Health Service to join? May we request Secretary Hermine Lopez Rocky Jr. Sir, to rise? A memento is presented to Secretary Herminio Lopez Roque Jr., Presidential Spokesperson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Secretary Harry Rocky Jr. Sir, please be seated. Same memento is presented to Dr. Maria Francia Laksamana, Assistant Secretary of Health. Thank you very much. To Dr. Laksamana, please be seated. And same memento is also presented to Asset Marcelo Morales of DILG for international relations and other interior sector concerns. Thank you very much. A warm, warm, warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated.
We will now proceed to the ceremonial machination. Before we proceed, sir. As we continue, we shall now proceed with the ceremonial vaccination. We are now having the ceremonial vaccination. The vaccine is being administered to our Chief Philippine National Police by Dr. Maria Francia Naksamana, Assistant Secretary of Health. The ceremonial vaccination of our TPMP and is being uh, vaccinated by Dr. Maria Francia Laxamana, Assistant Secretary of Health. And uh, together with our uh, guest, Secretary Herminio Roque Jr. and ASEC Marcelo Morales. Then we shall have the uh, simultaneous vaccination to our senior officers who have been already assessed by our health personnel. We will request our senior officers for vaccination to proceed at the vaccination site for the photo opportunity with the chief PMP together with Secretary Harry Rocky Jr., Dr. Laxamana, and Asep Marcelo Morales. our friends from the media to occupy their respective seats as we continue with the second part of the program, the press conference. Once again, may we request our friends from the media to occupy their respective seats for the continuation of the program for the press conference. Check, 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 sound, check. Go ahead, Mr.